What's the definition of something that's true? Huh? So I looked, I looked at four different dictionaries, okay, talk about truth, and each one had a different definition. <laughs> so how true? <laughs> how true is that? My truth. And the answer is, it's not easy to define what 100% sure means. What does 100% sure mean? That I see it, that I hear it, that I feel it, that I smell it, that I touch it. Is the coronavirus true? I think so, no? Not everybody says so. But... Uh, <laughs> Coronavirus is true, right? It had a little impact on the world, no? Did you ever see it? <laughs> Are atoms true? Are neutrons real? Are electrons real? Are viruses real? Are germs real? Is bacteria real? Are particles real? <laughs> is the black hole real? Today we know the fact. The less you see something, the more powerful it is. The most impactful things on our lives we cannot see. For example, you think genes are important? You think your DNA is important? You think your atoms are important? Your cells are important? Your neurons are important? Your nerve cells are important? Well, you can't see them. Electricity, pretty important. You can't see it. So what does 100% sure mean? If 100% sure means, can I touch it and see it with my eyes? In a laboratory, we can't see God. But there was a very famous French astronomer who once said, I developed the best telescope and I looked all over the cosmos and I could not find God. And a violinist responded, the other day I took apart my violin piece by piece by piece and I couldn't find music. If 100% sure means that I could see it with my eyes, literally, like I see the table, then not. But if 100% sure means that you need much more faith to believe that the world is random than to believe that there's an intelligent, conscious design, then I think it's pretty certain.